Hi everyone, welcome back to East Coast Training Zone or welcome if you're new here. My name is Carla and I'll be guiding you through day four of the TRX Core Challenge. Now, before we get started today, I just want to remind you that if you want to see more workouts and build a TRX weekly routine, check out my on-demand platform where you will find weekly workout plans and lots of videos for different levels. I will leave a link in the description box down below and also make sure to hit that subscribe button so you never have to miss a workout here on YouTube. Today is the second week of the TRX Core Challenge, so we are building up the difficulty uh, from today onwards. All right, let's get started. For today's workout, we need a TRX, we need a mat, a towel, and the water bottle and then let's get going with the first exercise to warm up our body we are using mid-length we're doing an overhead squat face your anchor and place your hands into the foot cradles overhead and then let's go into a wide stance wider than the usual squat weight is on the heels and then sit back and drive up through the heels 15 repetitions in this warm-up exercise three four, keeping the arms up, keeping a tall spine, five, sit back and drive up through the heels, seven, eight, nine, ten, last five, one, two, three, four, and five. And then our first exercise of today's workout is the standing rollout. So let's lengthen the TRX fully and face away from the anchor. Have your feet hip width apart, have your handles right in front of your shoulders. And then let's drive up the arms, bring your head between your biceps and then go back to the floor full feet. So we go up onto our toes and back onto full feet. We need a strong core for this one, definitely a core exercise. It's a nice stretch as well. Four, but let's squeeze the glutes and tighten the abs. Five in this standing rollout. Six, we've done it a couple of times on our knees last week. Let's do this one, eight, nine, and last one, and 10. For the next one, you just need one single handle. If you have a TRX like this with a loop, you can just use one single uh, strap at mid-length. We're doing a power pull, so let's lengthen that left arm and have the right arm right underneath your shoulder. Feet are hip width apart, let's roll out, rotation, and then pull with power to come back. I'm gonna incline a little bit more here, and then let's do 10 on each side. One, rotation and pull with power. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Let's just switch. If you want, you can do a step to the right and then let's lengthen that left arm and pull back rotation to the right and pull back with that left arm three four contracting the core constantly five six seven Eight. This is nine. 
and your last one and done and then let's take it to the floor for the rest of the workout so you need mid calf length you need your mat place it in front of your trx and then let's get into the plank setup so lay down and drop the foot cradles over the toes turn and then back onto your mat today we're doing a trx plank so a high plank on hands so for this one check your feet are they leveled are your feet flexed are your shoulders in back pockets shoulders right above your wrists and then let's tighten the abs squeeze the glutes start moving forward and straighten the legs 15 repetitions or 15 seconds better in this first trx plank six seven keep contracting your core ten one two three four and five and back down to the floor ready for the next one let's get up straighten the legs and start squeezing glutes tightening abs two three four five six seven eight nine ten last five four three two and one and then you can have a back stretch if you like our next one is a little harder we did mountain climbers last week on elbows in a plank on elbows this time we'll do them in a trx plank so on hands so let's get back into that high plank and then from here one knee in hip up other knee in hip up three we do ten four five six seven eight nine and last one and back down to the floor and then we're ready for our sides now today's side plank is also a little bit more difficult than the ones we did last week we were just holding the plank today we're going to move uh, the legs we will split the legs so open and close those legs let's get back into that plank first feet touch hand to hip when you're stable you can start open and close keep it stable don't start swinging three four five six seven eight nine and last one all right and then let's go to the other side through your front that's the easiest way and then when you come out your upper leg is already in the right spot okay have your shoulder and elbow in line and let's go up feet touch bring that hand to the hip and then let's go one two three four shoulders are stacked hips are stacked six and then try to stay stable eight nine and last one and back to the front now for the last one we are splitting the legs again so this time we are doing a plank with abduction so back into that high plank and then we open and close uh, every time you open you will go up a little bit with your hips let's get into that plank again and then go one plank with abduction working the inner thighs and of course our core six seven eight nine and last one all right let's take the feet out and have a nice and long back stretch here and 
then we go onto our back. So just go onto your back, take your foot cradles with you and place your heels in the foot cradles for the next one, which is the hip lift. Hip lift or hip press. Okay, so for this one, if you want to make it a little bit harder, a little bit more challenging, just move away from your anchor, move out a little bit and it will be harder. The more neutral you are, the easier it will be. And then bring your knees towards your chest and then we're lifting from here two sets of five lifts with a break of five. Chasing the plank always two, three, four and five, relax, five, four, three, two and one and let's bring those knees back in, lifting, one, two, keep your feet flexed, chase the plank, three, four and five and back down. For the next one we come into a boat pose. I'm moving a little bit more away from my anchor here, from the ledge mainly, because I will probably be moving a little bit. And then let's go into a boat pose. We're doing accordion. So we're doing crunches. Bring the knees to the chest. One, two, three. Press your heels into the foot cradles. Four, in order not to lose them. Six, seven, eight, nine and ten and then let's do a second set same exercise ten more two three four five six seven eight nine and ten relax and then let's get up move the mat up because we will be putting our head on this side now. So onto the back again. Underneath your anchor with your head. And then we'll be doing the abs tuck first. So for the abs tuck, you can have your hands spread out, lean onto your foot cradles, foot cradles, yes. And then bring your knees towards your chest. Now I lift my upper back, my shoulders and my head, but I keep looking up. I'm not bending my neck. And then I straighten out my legs very close to the floor. Heels are almost touching my mat. And then I come back. Let's go. One, two, three. If holding the back and shoulders and head up is hard for you, then just put it down, it's fine. You will still be working your abs very well. Six done. Seven, eight, nine, and last one. And then for the next one, bring your legs up, both of them straight, feet are flexed, and both handles are together, surrounded by your hands right above your chest, relax your shoulders, no need to pull here, just press your lower back into the mat and then let's drop that leg right first, we alternate between right and left and we do 10 repetitions. Now if it's hard to keep your legs straight, then just give them a slight bend, that's fine. Five, six, seven, Eight, nine, and last one, and then the last one for today is the resisted crunch. We'll be doing 20 repetitions today. So bring your feet to the end, towards the end of your mat, and as wide as your mat, your hands are just resting in the foot cradles. And then let's crunch up. One, two, also here not bending your neck, just keep looking or pointing up your nose at your anchor. Five, six, seven, 
eight. The hands are just resting in the foot cradles. You're not pressing on them. We do 10 more and you should feel this working in your abs, right under your ribs. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 20, that was. Okay, just quickly hug your knees and wiggle. Before we go into the stretches, today's stretches, the first one will be just a child pose stretch. So let's stay on the mat for that one. If you wanna do a child pose stretch, have your toes joined, your knees a little wider, and then just sit back and reach out with your hands and just relax for about 30 seconds we stay here. And then slowly come out and uh, back up onto your legs. We don't need the mat anymore, so just get rid of it. And then get your straps back to mid length. We'll do a lower back stretch with rotation to right and left. So have your feet hip width apart, palms down. A little bit of inclination, flex your knees, shoulders relaxed, and then just curl your back, stick your head between your arms and relax your lower back here. And then when you're ready, rotation to your right, stretching the right side of your lower back, back to the middle and left. One more on the right. And one more on the left. And then let's finish with a forward hinge in a wider stance. So just reach forward, lean into your straps and then put some pressure on those straps, bringing your weight forward. Feel a good stretch in the back of your legs as well, not just the upper body. Five, four, three, two and one. And that was it for today, day four of your TRX core challenge. A little bit more difficult today. Now this is a short workout, so if you wanna do it one more time, go ahead, just rewind and do this workout once more. You are getting stronger in your core, I am very sure of that. So this should motivate you to be back for our day five of this TRX core challenge. Well done for today and see you soon.